staring into the face of a killer. Negative. Actually a very sweet snake. Wants nothing to do with people. Wants nothing more than to be left alone. Do that, should be all right. Could put a hurting on me. He done, he done must on me. First thing I want to point out is cottonmouth is a species of pit viper, which make up the majority of the venomous snakes here in North America. So the way you can identify a pit viper 100% for sure is if you look. Let me get a little twig. If you look at this snake, there's his nostril right there. Here's his eye, and right there, that's his heat-seeking pit right there in between its nostril, which is up front, and its eyeball. I know you can see it. There's a little tiny pit right there. That's how he sees and differentiates little temperature differences between the area around what may be prey and prey. So that way, it leads to a deadly accurate strike. Next thing I want to point out is, see his head? It's like a nice, like triangular shape. Their head is always like this. Their head looks like this no matter what. They're laying on the ground, they're moving, they're swimming, their head's always gonna be shaped just like this. It's so fat like that because back here are his venom glands. That's where he keeps the venom that he uses to uh, stop his prey, shut it down, and ultimately kill him and then eat him. Now, if this snake bites you, his venom is a hemotoxin. And what that will do is it'll break down your blood cells and basically prevent your blood from clotting, forcing you to either bleed out or in a less severe case, causing severe muscle damage and uh, tissue damage that could last forever, honestly, or it could heal, just depending on how bad the bite is. Um, Next, you'll see is this is a darker one, but when they're younger, a lot of them are like a bright orange color and you can see these bands really well, but his bands kind of fade as he gets older. I don't understand why this one's so dark already because he's he's kind of young judging by his size. Cottonmouths are not all black. As you can see, they actually have banding. This is a young adult. Well, this is really just kind of like a juvenile, so it's a good example. But they're a thicker bodied snake. They're a fat guy. They're fat all the way down, all the way until they reach their little stubby tail. They have these beautiful bands. They're not all black. They just get darker with age. You can see how thick this guy is, and he's, he's a really short snake. But it's very different from your water snakes around here. Um, so next thing I like to point out is, if you look at his eyes, you see her like a cat. He's got that pupil, that elliptical pupil, just faces straight down. And they're really mean looking, but this snake just gets a bad reputation. It's honestly not as aggressive as a lot of people make it out to be. Very poor land crawlers. Bam, there's his little fangs. Little baby fangs in the cottonmouth. 
Yes, the snake will bite you if you step on it or you threaten it and you mess with it like this. You don't properly handle it. But no, it is not out to get you whatsoever. When I release this snake, he's going to run far away from me. Either that or just stand still and hold his ground. But I don't blame him if he does because he's upset. Bam, running away. That's nothing to do with me. It's a very misunderstood animal. All right, now, when you catch a venomous snake, the best way to release them is to just whoosh, drop them down. And they're just gonna sit there and take off. Notice how he's not chasing me. He doesn't want anything to do with me. Boom, food on him, nothing. Nothing at all. He wants nothing more than to be left alone.